Uh, hi, I'm Lee from Lairdale. I'm looking at um, the virtual simulation for nursing. It's been designed in conjunction uh, in the States with the National League for Nursing, and it's then being anglicised and brought across uh, to the UK. So you've got 10 scenarios for nursing fundamentals and 10 scenarios for nursing medical surgical. So it allows your staff or your students to do the simulation at home um, using an interactive um, scenarios, uh, different cases uh, in each one. Um, and then you can then re replicate those um, through the scenarios that we provide you to go on your simulators then as well. So you can do the cognitive part at home, um, link it in through um, your learning management system so you can track who's done it and who hasn't. Uh, and then you can come into the sim lab or in situ um, and redo the simulation with your simulators. Hi, I'm Dan. I'll be your nurse today. I'll wash my hands first. Please state your name and date of birth. My name is Kenneth Bronson. I was born on October 5th, 1992. Everything matches, including your CHI number. This is an oxygen saturation probe, which monitors the oxygen level in your blood. It fits snugly around your finger, it could not hurt. Yeah, it's all about basing this done. Uh, we, provide, we provide the SCORM dispatch file, which means you can run it through Moodle or uh, whatever, so you, that's how people track the compliance and stuff like that. Uh, and then when you finish, you hand over your patient and all the different buttons you've been pressing. So we haven't done enough for the care plan, but you, um, it's assessing you all the way and it gives you a percentage score and a full debrief of what you've done, which the, your instructors can then, then see as well. So you can then go in and talk about it. So they can practice it at home and get it cognitively right. And then they come in and do it. Yeah. Get the psychomotor part. It's a nice blended learning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Approach. Um, so there's different price breaks built in. The more you, people you put in, and if you have one or two modules, um, so you can have one, it's more expensive than if you had two, for instance. Yeah. Um, and then the more people you add in, the cheaper it, it, it will get. The other way to do it is if you've got like uni students in a big auditorium like next door, you can plug this up on a uh, big screen. Um, and then have your the guess, multiple guests yes. um, answer. Right, what we're we going to do next? We're going to do A, B, C, or D. Click, click. Right, cash. Yeah. We're going to do C, so we're going to communicate and do X, Y, and Z. So it's a different, just a different way of teaching that way.